reason for getting stories about HIV and AIDS on film, especially stories from people who are living with, with the condition. To start with, quite simply, that to record it is to recognize its existence. It is to say that this is, a, this is an issue. Um, without that, we wouldn't be able to address it. How did you find out that you had diabetes? Most of the time I would be thirsty. And then that happened for around three days. And then on the fourth day, I decided to go to the doctor. We felt it necessary to, first of all, bring this to the public, public light. But also, very importantly, to tell stories from the point of view of people living with the, the disease. Having looked at the material, uh, what strikes me about this archive is that it to tells uh, a whole story, not just a uh, news sensationalist or, uh, you know, a kind of um, isolated part of it. Um, it, it tells a story that um, has a beginning and takes you through various chapters of the AIDS pandemic and how, and how it's evolved in South Africa. And that makes it a particularly compelling archive. Doing my doctoral research on this topic, um, I was doing a lot of exploration into where the richest of these sorts of visual archives are. And um, this really is possibly the most rich um, archive of, of footage about HIV anywhere in the world. It is an incredibly extensive full archive um, that has captured this um, development in South Africa. I think it remains important for us to record and index the stories of people living with HIV. There has been a huge change. It has gone from being a death sentence to just another manageable, manageable chronic disease. That is a huge change in people's perception. Kurdish refugees. I think uh, the connection to Elsevier as a foundation um, allows us to be part of a global conversation um, where um, the specific uh, archive around HIV AIDS um, can um, be seen in a broader context. The footage has really has played an extremely important role um, in opening new spaces of public dialogue and presenting new possibilities um, for you know, what it means to be HIV positive in South Africa. The fact that things are looking better is not a reason to stop filming and stop recording what is happening. It is, it, it's all the more important to keep recording it, to keep, to keep a closer eye on it so that we can see how this, will, how this may change in the future and what, what is necessary, what interventions are necessary. Elsevier's funding has been critical. It's given us a kickstart. It's enabled uh, the relationship between CMT and the UC and UCT and the archives to develop, and it has uh, now enabled um, uh, logging and and uh, digitization of this 3,000 hours to to um, take place. And so um, we see this relationship with the funder um, as uh, um, so important in, in our and our survival as an archive. We are at war not with the government, but with the deadly killer disease HIV and AIDS. What we want to achieve by filming and archiving um, all of this material is quite simply to change policy and practice. Um, we want to see policies implemented that, that curb the spread of the disease, that make it easier for people to live with it, that allow people to have a long and fruitful life, but also to put people uh, in touch with useful information so they can do something themselves instead of sitting at home and waiting for medicine to walk through the door or a miracle cure to arrive. There are basic things people can do to assist uh, in getting a better, longer, more fruitful life.